Who could be the difference between winning and losing a fight in Roblox The Survival Game? I only have seven minutes to show you guys these 17 insane food tricks before I use them in a 1v1 against my friend wearing blue steel while I'm only wearing iron. The timer starts now and we're starting off with using hearty stews to give you 1,000 hunger, the 8 meal and the 8 good meal buff, which give you 15 extra health for 2 minutes total. It can only be crafted in the new bacon oven. This is the only food in the game right now that gives you 2 health buff so it's extremely overpowered when used with a food item that gives you the eight amazing meal buff which leads into tip two make sure to farm and use spicy meat meals this not only gives the eight amazing meal buff it also gives the eight spicy food buff which gives you a five percent speed boost which can be crucial in combat to outrun and bow your opponent down if you use the hearty stew and the spicy meat meal together you get an extra 30 health and a five percent speed bonus while only taking up two hot bar spots this is insanely op as we can use this last hotbar space for cabbages, which are great to use in combat since each one you eat gives you free health. So make sure to get a lot of carrots so you can spam them when healing up in combat. And to help with healing faster, make sure to keep eating health buffing foods while in combat, since every time you eat them, they give you plus two health regen for a small amount of time. The best foods for this is either the hearty stew or the spicy meat meal, which the regen for both lasts around a minute long. Here are the times for some of the others, but make sure not to eat two if you already have a health buff since the regen doesn't stack. Also, make sure to eat your buff foods as late as possible before entering a sword fight so that you have regen while fighting. This will help a lot during close fights. This is how many hits it takes to kill a copper player without regen, and here's with regen. You can take an extra hit for free if you do this trick right. Now that you know all these great combat tips, you need to know a way to farm these foods because food runs out quickly. And another thing that's running out quickly is the time I have left to explain these tricks to you guys. I only have five minutes minutes left until I have to 1v1 my friend. So enough wasting time, let's start off with the hearty stews, which cost 30 berries, 10 mushrooms, 16 bowls, 10 carrots, and 20 cabbages. You can find berries, mushrooms, and carrots all around the map, but if you don't know, cabbages spawn around places like this in the mainland. But to get a lot of each crop, you're gonna have to go into a private server and create a big Bruh. farm. And while you're working on your farm, make sure to use the toilet and bed for a 20% speed boost to decrease the time you have to spend farming. Here's a demonstration of how much time you can save by using this. As you can see, it's this much faster while using the speed boost. This will save a lot of time in the long run. For example, for every hour you spend farming, you can save 12 minutes if you use this trick right. Another tip to save time is using the new scythe to chop down four crops at once and can be crafted in a steel furnace for two steel, one steel nail, and two handles. And since it's class the tool, you'll even get to keep it after dying. You can also use the scythe for combat as it's the longest range weapon in the game. Although it only does 20 damage, it can be great if you have a speed advantage over your opponent as you can keep the distance from them and slowly drain their health. Or you can try and use it to get an extra hit in before switching to your sword. But this is a pretty hard trick to pull off and it will require some practice before you can use it in combat. Now I understand that you might not want to use hearty stews for combat since they are pretty hard to grind for as you can't farm mushrooms. So let's use the carrots you farmed instead to make a great alternative of carrot pie. You miss out on a 5 health boost, but they're much easier to farm since you only need carrots and bread to make. And since carrots and wheat are both plantable, I suggest making a big wheat and carrot farm so you can grind these easily. If you farm on the midlands, you can kill animals for meat while you wait for your crops to grow. This meat can go towards making spicy meat meat. After 10 minutes of farming, I got 167 carrot pie. To make spicy meat meals, you're going to need a lot of meat and jalapeno. I suggest you use this route to farm for meat, which if you use speed boost correctly, you can get about 40 ribs worth of meat in only 10 minutes. But another way to farm is actually farming gold instead. The merchant has them in stock so you can buy rib meals for 10 gold, which is insanely cheap. I actually tested out both ways to see which one was more efficient for farming. And I found out that even with the double resource game pass, you can only get around 34 rib meals in 10 minutes. So I wouldn't use the gold route to farm for meat. But if you have spare coins, it's a pretty good investment since they're so cheap. Cheap. Then all you have to do is combine your rib meals and jalapenos to make a spicy meat meal. So make sure you have a huge jalapeno farm going so that it can grow while you're farming meat. If you don't know, you can find jalapenos here, here, and here. Make sure to leave a stack of jalapenos after you're done farming since you're going to need a big farm for them since they take the longest out of any crop to grow. You'll have to wait two and a half minutes for each one to fully grow. Now you'd think that since they take so long to grow, they'd give you more XP when you plant and harvest them. But I tested all the crops to 
see if they give you more XP, and I found out that they all give the same amount. So if you're farming to level up rebuffs, make sure to use wheat as it takes the least amount of time to grow, at only one minute. For proof, here's how much XP you gain from farming and replanting 10 wheat, and here's 10 hala. While we're talking about rebuffs, I'll give you these extra tips. But before I do, I have to ask you guys to check that you're subscribed. I'm trying to hit 100k subscribers before the end of 2023 so that I can get admin on this game, which I'd be able to use to make even better videos. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Anyway, I'll stop wasting time since I only have two and a half minutes left to finish all these tips before the 1v1. If you don't like waiting ages to farm, then you can get the Rebirth Perk Harvest Blessing, which doubles all your farming harvest. I would only get this if you already have the free essential ones already, which is Survivalist, Pro Swimmer, and Quick Draw. Make sure to get the Survivalist Perk as soon as possible since it makes your hunger go down 50% slower so you don't have to use food as much. But not only that, it also regens one health per second, which stacks with other food regens. If you're serious about combat, this perk is absolutely essential. If you're still not satisfied with the amount of time you have to spend, then you could buy the two times hunger game pass that makes your hunger go down another 50% slower, which means you really won't have to use much food at all. But this isn't really necessary as long as you have the survivalist perk. And if you just have bottomless pockets, then I guess you could spend Robux to get coins and just buy all the food you want without putting any effort in at all. This method is what I opt for most days. But don't be like me. Use the tips that I've given you to farm as much food as you can and save the Robux. There we go, guys. We made it with only 15 seconds to spare. Now that we've learned all these tips and tricks, let's use them in a 1v1 versus my friends. Remember, he gets to wear blue still while I can only wear iron. So I'm going to have to use everything I've learned to win here. All right, let's go. All right, guys, there you have it. If you use these tips, you'll be a pro as well in no time. If you enjoyed this video, then go check out my last video where I killed 100 players to make an ultimate skull throne.